I'm going to show you how to create a cool photo flip effect in Flinto for Mac. And I'm going to do this with a behavior, but this same technique will work on a transition. So just keep in mind, if you're animating from one screen to another, you want to use a transition and not a behavior. But in this case, I'm just going to set something up where I can tap and it will flip the photo back and forth, just to show as an example. All right, I've got these two photos and I'm going to put one on top of the other. Now the one on top, I want to hide it. And I'm going to hide it by rotating it. So I'm going to rotate this 180 degrees, and you'll notice that as it flips around to where the back is showing, you actually can't see it. The back is hidden. So that hides this photo and kind of gets it pre-rotated, ready to rotate back. Okay, now I'm going to select both of these layers, click New Behavior, and I'll call this 3D Flip. Got my initial state, and I'm going to create a new state where the this photo is going to be hidden, and the one that was hidden is going to be revealed. So I'll start by taking the watermelon photo layer, and I'm going to rotate it negative 180 degrees. Remember last time I rotated the dog photo 180 degrees, this one's going to go negative 180, so it's going in the other direction. So I'll rotate that around, get it all the way to 180. Now both the photos are hidden, so I've got to bring back the dog photo, and it's at 180. I'm just going to rotate that back to zero. You can kind of imagine how the animation is going to happen here. Okay, now when I click back to the other state, you can see the animation happen. Looks like a really convincing 3D flip effect. Now all I need is a way to navigate between these two states. So from the initial state, I'll make a link that goes to the new state. And from the new state, I'll make a link that goes to the initial state. If I open up the preview, now I can tap between those two states and see my 3D flip effect. Try setting this up and then use a swipe gesture so that you can swipe across the photo. This kind of animation looks really cool when you're dragging your finger across to rotate it. Now that you know how this technique works, you should be able to use this in your transitions and your behaviors. Keep in mind that if you're transitioning from one screen to another, you wanna set this up in the transition designer not the behavior designer. Use the behavior designer if this is happening on a small element within one screen.